Hi guys, welcome back. It's another Sunday. Can't believe it. I think it's number eight. I'm not sure. Anyway, Maria tells me it doesn't matter. I want to show you how to make a lovely Sunday dessert. This is a real decadent treat. Again, I'm going to use the shortbread pastry that I've used for apple tart. I think I used it for rhubarb crumble. I used it for pecan pie. So go back there and look at the recipe. Um, but over here, I have my uh, tin already prepared with that pastry, okay? And I have put little prick marks with a fork in the bottom of it because I'm going to bake this blind. And baking something blind means you're not going to fill it. You're just going to bake it as it is. But to prevent it, the pastry from rising, we're going to just line the pastry with grease food paper. And I just used this paper that I had, you know, for like a sponge tin. And I have my baking beans here that I'm going to pour in here. And you can reuse these beans all the time. Don't throw them out. If you don't have them, just put any kind of dried beans you might have in the house like kidney beans or chickpeas or lentils or anything that will weigh it down a bit, okay? So I put that into the oven now uh, and bake it blind. Of course, I can't remember what temperature or how much time, but I'll come back and let you know. Our tart has cooked nicely. Um, I didn't want to take this out. I want to show you, you just literally lift your paper out like this and pour it back into your Ziploc bag for the next time you could even keep oops you could even keep your paper if you want but that's not really necessary so see this is our case now for our next step and our next step is going to be our toffee mixture okay so in here I have some brown sugar soft light brown sugar I also have some butter and some single cream now in the original recipe it calls for half the ingredients that I'm using because I am just such a toffee lover. I just felt like it wasn't enough. So I have 100 grams of butter in here. I have 150 grams of cream and I have 200 grams of soft light brown sugar. And I am basically going to melt all those together until it becomes a nice toffee sauce, okay? So I'll just leave that there and I'll come over here and I'll show you. This is gonna be the chocolate part. And there's 200 grams of single cream and 200 grams of dark chocolate. I'm going to put that onto a lower heat because I don't want the cream to curdle. I'm going to gently just melt that. That will be for the top, okay? So this is where our um, Nutella flavor is going to come in. You're going to add some lovely roasted hazelnuts that I already have over here. I just pop them into the oven and then I put them through my food processor and blitz them. If you don't have a food processor, put them in a Ziploc bag and give them a big bash. So we'll just come back in a second when all this has cooked down. Over here and just show everybody, look how rapidly that's boiling and I've been stirring all the time. I'm just going to take it off the heat now because I don't want it to be too hard a toffee. I just want it to set in the tray. And I'm going to add now my roasted hazelnuts in here. Um, there is 150 grams of roasted hazelnuts. I didn't double, I don't double that part from the original recipe because um, it's just too thick. But I just love that. Lovely. Now, I'm gonna let that cool down for a little bit. And over here you can see how our chocolate and cream is pretty much melted together. There's a few little tiny bits of chocolate left in there. This is gonna be that wonderful mousse for the top. So I just have to let that cool down a little bit. If I don't, if you don't cool it down, don't cool it down fully or else it'll be too hard to pour. But if you put it in super hot, it'll actually go through the pastry. So just get that, maybe let it cool down for about five minutes. We'll be back. So here we go, guys. Maria has almost eaten half of the <laughs> tin. It's just an absolutely delicious mixture. I'm going to use my uh, spatula actually to get all of this out. And you just literally pour it in there. Can, I'm sorry, I'm blocking the way there for the camera. Just keep pouring it in until you spread it all the way around. Okay? We make this uh, usually at Christmas time. 
because it's one of those really decadent treats that you couldn't be making all the time. Now I'm just going to let that set again in there for another little while because otherwise the chocolate will just go straight down through it. Okay, and I'll be right back. Here we go guys, our uh, toffee has set fairly well. It's still moving a little bit, but if I put my finger on it, it, uh, it doesn't move. And because that took, probably took about 15, 20 minutes, I've just brought my chocolate back up to the heat slightly because otherwise it won't pour easily on here. Maria, am I in your way? Should I, actually, here we go, let's do this. So I'm just going to make sure that's well mixed and just start pouring in here and you see now how important it is to have the toffee set because otherwise the chocolate would literally run down through it and um, it would taste lovely it wouldn't have any impact on the taste but it just wouldn't look as nice you know and uh, they say that presentation is half the deal there's a lot of people in this house waiting for their dinner so I'm going to rush through this here and uh, so they're all in the kitchen making loads of noise. I hope you guys can. Hear. So to get that to pour, just tilt it slightly around the edges. See the way I'm just tilting that slightly? Just to get it into the corners. The toffee's moving there a little bit. So just go easy when you're uh, tilting, not to tilt too much. And that's my lovely hazelnut, chocolate and toffee tart. Now that needs to set before you slice into it, otherwise it just goes all over the place. So you need to give it a good hour or two to set. If you're in a hurry, you could stick it in the fridge. If you're in a super hurry, stick it in the freezer. But I'm just gonna leave it now to set for a while. Thanks for watching, hope you all have a lovely Sunday. God bless.